Good day, class. So for our laboratory activity, we have fight Faraco staining technique. We all know, class, that the microscopic appearance of routinely stained tissue may reveal infection, as evidenced by the presence of inflammatory infiltrates such as the neutrophils, eosinophils, plasma cells, or lymphocytes. There will also be granulomas, microabscesses, or cessation necrosis in the section being examined. In your bacteriology lecture, mycobacteria are difficult to demonstrate by Gram's technique because they have a fatty acid capsule that influences the penetration and resistance to removal of the stain by acid and alcohol. So they are so-called acid and alcohol fastness or acid fast. The speed by which the primary dye is removed by differentiation with acid alcohol is proportional to the amount of fatty coat. In the case for fight farico or weighed fight farico stating technique class, it can uh, demonstrate mycobacterium leprae that is an intracellular mycobacterium that attacks and destroys the nerves, especially in the skin of patients with leprosy. M. leprae is only acid fast and can be demonstrated by the weight fight or the fight farico acid fast technique. The other term used for leprosy is known as Hansen's disease. And the transmission of Hansen's disease class is through inhalation and through hematogenesis spread. Take note class that Mycobacterium leprae doesn't grow in culture but can be isolated on the foot pads of mice and also nine-banded armadillo. In order to facilitate viewing of Mycobacterium leprae under the microscope class, we have several specimens of choice that we can use. We have keratinized skin from skin biopsy. We can also use nerve biopsy, which is, by the way, very hard to perform and to extract. In the laboratory, we can also use sputum samples, pleural fluid samples, so those types of samples can be used for fight farico staining. The fixative agent used for weighed fight technique for leprosy bacilli is formalin and the sections must be paraffinized. The composition of weighed fight or fight farico staining class is carbolfuxin serves as the primary stain. While the counter stained use is methylene blue or acetified methylene blue. Acetified methylene blue class consists of powdered methylene blue, 99 ml of water, and 1 ml of glacial acetic acid. Kindly write that down. The dehydrating agent used for fight farico staining class is either 5 to 10 sulfuric acid. Acid alcohol is the decolorizing agent used in the lab. So here are the steps in fight farico or weight fight technique. First, you warm sections and deparaffinize using one part ground nut or peanut oil or clove oil and two parts silene to remove paraffin, or we call that silene mineral oil mixture or silene peanut oil mixture. So that is around 15 minutes. Repeat blotting and washing in water until section is uniformly wet. Stain in filtered carbolfuxine at room temperature for 15 minutes. So Sometimes the procedure is around 30 minutes, but in the laboratory, we only do it for 15 minutes. Then wash in tap water and blot dry. Decolorization 
will be around 5 to 10% sulfuric acid or using a an acid alcohol. And then wait for the sections until it's faint pink to know that you're already done with it. That's around 1 minute or until the sections are already faint pink. You wash it again in tap water and counter staining in methylene blue or acetified methylene blue for 3 minutes. But sometimes others do it for 5 to 10 seconds. But in the laboratory, we use until 3 minutes and followed by bluing using tap water, blot dry, and complete drying in an oven. Or you can wipe it using gauze. And that is already ready for clearing using silene and mounting. After the staining procedure class, the results that you can see under the microscope is that the cell's nucleus varies in color from blue to dark violet to dark brown. The cytoplasm is blue-green, or if the cytoplasm is eosinophilic or acidophilic, then the cytoplasm will be colored pink. The microorganisms will stain blue-violet, while the leprosy bacilli class, you write this down, it is colored magenta red or red against a blue background. If there are red blood cells found on your slide, then it will be colored red. And the keratinized structures, so the skin, the hair, they will color intense pink. So this is what you can see under the microscope. There are different types of leprosy class. We have tuberculoid type and the lepromatous type. A trivia for our discussion today class is that World Leprosy Eradication Day is observed on the last Sunday of the month of January. Let us stop the stigma against leprosy and the patients experiencing this. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more educational and fun stuff about medical technology. Thank you so much for listening. This one is quite short as well. So I hope to see you in our next lecture and laboratory discussions. May God bless us all and see you soon.